Welcome to the fifth episode of Probably Nothing. This episode is again full of news and controversies. First of all, in my own interest, I would like to point out the support of Probably Nothing. It is now possible to purchase 25 Super Sialums for 50 Mi of IOTA. This will be invested primarily for software and hardware to improve the quality of the Probably Nothing project. The sale starts tomorrow on Sooniverse. Let's go with the news. TangleSwap releases a teaser of their website. As announced on Twitter, you can now have the first glimpse of the website. If you want, you can already connect your wallet with Metamask, Firefly and TanglePay will be supported soon. The table with all the tabs is just a placeholder thought. There's no much you can do on the website. Nevertheless, it's nice to see that development is progressing. It is not the first platform that is so far advanced. This let us hope that Stardust and Shimmer is within reach. I really have a good feeling that soon the release and with it the explosion of IOTA is imminent. Philo suggests the definition of future process around governance. If we all soon have the opportunity to vote, everything must be regulated so that no problems come. Holger proposes three phases. The discussion phase, the temperature test and the last phase, the voting. In the first phase everyone can give his suggestion to the tuning without paying attention to something. It is therefore informal. If this first phase has found enough agreement and it was possibly even further elaborated, it lands in the second phase. Here there will be a template how to submit this proposal. In the second phase the proposal must also reach a relative majority in seven days. If a proposal has reached the third phase it will end up like the community treasury event at Firefly and we will be voted on the same way. For those who want to read the template and more, the proposal link is below in the description. There is also a new listing, SimpleHold. SimpleHold is a light wallet that supports Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other coins. According to their own statement, they focus their attention on usability and security. However, the Miyota listed there is only a BEEP20 token. That's a wrapped me that runs on the Binance chain. But between you and me, why use another wallet when we as the user community have the best wallet, Firefly? It can also stake in the wallet. Who is still curious can take a look at the whole thing. On the 15th of May, Cointelegraph published a small Q&A session with none other than Dominic Schiener. However, it was not unexpected about questions such as when the core decide or when Shimmerdive goes. Because the answer to that we all know soon. No, it was about six general questions about his person and his interests, like what was the most interesting place you ever visit and why? Or what people do you find most inspiring and interesting and fun in this area? Dom has often mentioned that he works 16 hours a day, so it's nice to see that he's still down to earth and doesn't let this space get him down. I find such interviews refreshing and very interesting. The person behind the coin. Not the typically interviewers you know in the heap. Maybe a format for YouTube? The IOTA Foundation people talking and not a word about IOTA? Leave, a, uh, leave your opinion in the comments or on Twitter. Soon Labs releases their secret project. It will be a token exchange. And who would have thought it will run on Shimmer? I don't want to give my guess again about the release on Shimmer, but it will be in May. Who needs more circumstantial evidence? In the published blog post on Medium you can learn more about it and also see the first images. As an example, you can see first tokens you can buy, Adam token or the B token. The good here is that our funds do not have to deposit the wallet anywhere as with the purchase of NFTs everything works from the wallet. There will be three types of tokens. Tokens that are not for public sale, tokens that are in public sale and tokens whose sale has been completed. All of these tokens will be able to migrate to either Shimmer, IOTA or Shimmer EVM as they are released. Decentralization is also being addressed. Soon Labs and the IOTA Foundation are working on tip 42 which lets the token model work decentrally. The blog post is definitely worth reading and a must read for any IOTA investor. Monday also saw the release of a smart contracts update. There were updates, encantments, 
and test. The more interesting thing about the update is that the Hornet based starter test network is close to completion. Staying with short updates, GoShimmer has managed an update to version 0814, but here are only small changes in it. Also on Monday, a blog article appeared on the official blog of the IOTA Foundation, a research project sponsored by Japan's largest public, public administration organization, NIDO, the new energy and industrial technology development organization and involving several Japanese organizations has demonstrated the feasibility of IOTA as an infrastructure for securing critical industrial data. The project tested IOTA's Tangle as a trust pillar for risk-based maintenance systems used in power plants, energy plants, industrial plants, petrochemical plants and oil refineries achieving excellent results to test in the feasibility of IOTA as a trust anchor for critical data. This project started in 2020 and was completed in February 2022. The interesting point here is that the Hornet nodes connected to a private tangle run on AVS infrastructure in Japan. The setup of the private tangle was done using the IOTA one-click tangle tools. In the future, this private tangle could be anchored on the mainnet using an assembly smart contract. For those who still have capacity on their calendars, mark your calendar for June 7th till 10th. IOTA will again be a community partner for diversity initiative at the Women's Tech Global Conference. This is the largest trade show for the largest companies. Marianne de la Roche will also be attending and auditing at this event. The old hand of the community Schmucklos tweeted an interview on techtech.de with Sandra Jörg of course about Blackpin. She explained the difference between Blackpin and other messengers service like WhatsApp and then Baden-Württemberg's interior minister called it a lighthouse startup. Moreover, the field around care, rescue and medicine is just burning for such a solution. Since they are using the new matrix chat technology that has been managed in the medical fields as of the 1st of January 2022 and will soon become mandatory, the team thus have fewer competitors, they believe. The goal is, of course, to be the market leader as a digital transaction platform in Europe in a few years, true to the motto, one trillion or nothing. It's worth taking a look. A smaller spoiler, IOTA is also in it. For all developers and projects looking for relief, IOTA releases several components for easy integration into your projects. This is about the service UI component. These libraries help with decentralized identities and to check credentials. You can easily merge the whole thing on GitHub. Landex published their light paper and tokenomics and they are not well received at all. Even Dominic, who urges everyone to build, is now criticizing the paper. Frustration is also being vented on Telegram and it's getting a bit ugly as usual, at least if you listen to some of the statements. In my opinion, the discussion went off in a civilized manner, but you could already hear the typical howling. Before we go into tokenomics, the following hit from me. First of all, it is always do your own research. That means no matter who says or writes something. Think about it yourself and check the resources. When it comes to crypto, DEX, DeFi and whatever else the platforms are called, you should always use human reason. Nobody gives away money. That should be clear to everyone. When platforms, and I'm exaggerating here, 300% per day promise you, everyone should pack your things and run away quickly. This is not possible. Else 100% per month are exaggerated. This money and this increase in value must come from somewhere. That then make coins implode because the inflation is too great. It's the almost pre-programmed. Therefore, look at the tokenomics of each project and always remain a little skeptical. Let's move on to the tokenomics of Landex, which, mind you, is version 1, which means that things can still change. The big thorn for many are the many rounds of public funding and the large share of the money in the team and thus the project is before release has failed. I would like to say the following. I do not want to impute anything to anyone. The Dominic here rather negatively expresses is a bit annoying because he can have a great input on the community and on the development. On the other hand, it is only his opinion that he can and should say because he wants only the best for Yota and Landings should be a good example for DeFi 
and that is not in his eyes. Also, we always assume the presumption of innocence, which means the Landex team only wants the best in their eyes. And the light paper is good and no scam is pursued here. With all the criticism, hopefully things will happen on the part of Landex and a version 2 will come. I have asked the team for a statement, so far nothing came. The ball is now in Landex court, we wait what happens. Keep everyone factual and less drama. Today also a new patent came out based on IOTA. This was shared by many community members on Twitter. I quote, mentioned of method for managing insurance contracts between at least one policy holder and at least one insurance company. The whole thing works with smart contracts and Oracle. Fresh news for Shimmer was also just released. In the tweet, it appears that the smallest unit of Shimmer is now Glow, is 1 to 1 million, which means 1 Shimmer is 1 million Glow, or 1 Glow is 0.00001 Shimmer. If you want to read more about the new regulation and information, you should do that on GitHub. Bit Oasis, that exchange in the Emirates mentioned in the last episode, tweets twice about IOTA. One interesting tweet is that there will be an AMA with Dominic Sheena at the exchange. Thus the many hopeful new investors in the Emirates can get a better picture of IOTA. Good luck. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Do your own research on my videos too. I don't link them for free. Stay factual and nice. Don't listen to everyone but from your own opinion. Don't listen to everyone but form your own opinion and everything will be fine. Until next time. Bye bye.